I'm Ryan Greenfeld, and this is your BPB Update. When it comes to problems associated with fat soils in Greece, or fog, about 80% of the calls that we receive come from residential customers, another 20% from businesses. One of the big reasons for that is that commercial entities are regulated, while the residential side is not. One of the key devices that restaurants and other commercial establishments use to stay in compliance is the grease interceptor, or grease trap. You can expect to find a grease trap at any restaurant in Brownsville. These devices ensure that the wastewater system isn't inundated with large amounts of grease and oil from food production. There are several different types of grease traps. This one here that we're gonna look at is below ground and has two chambers. Let's get a better idea of how it works. At a restaurant, there are drain lines directly connected to the grease interceptor. Once the material enters the interceptor, separation starts to occur. Because the grease and oils are less dense than water, fog will float on top of water. Over time, the top layer of fog will get bigger and bigger and will harden over time. As this happens, the water below the layer of fog gets pushed along to the second chamber, where the process begins again. In the second chamber, as the top layer of fog gets bigger, it will force the clean water below it into the wastewater system. If the top layer of fog in a grease trap gets too big, it will lose its effectiveness and start sending grease into the wastewater collection system. To ensure a grease trap is effective, it must receive regular cleaning. That's where BPB comes in. Our pretreatment department inspects grease traps all over the city to ensure compliance. Those establishments failing to comply could be subject to a daily surcharge until the grease trap is brought back into compliance. While city ordinances are a big reason for the 80-20 split in fog-related calls, log credit must also go to the team in our pretreatment department. They're always tirelessly making inspections and reaching out to businesses to teach them the best practices in fog disposal. If you have any questions about fog disposal, make sure to reach out to them. They're there to help. I'm Ryan Greenfeld, and this is your BPB Update.